Hello? This call is from the Chester Woman's Correctional Facility. You have a call from inmate Allison De Laurentiis. To accept this call, press 1. Hello, Allie. Hello, Emily. You okay? Never better. You'll be fine. Really? What makes you say that? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't call to say that. I just... Listen, tomorrow, will you be there? I'll try. You'll try? I'll be there. Thank you. Somebody said it was raining. Is it raining back home? Yes, it's, it's raining. Good night, Em. Good night, Allie. Remember when every hallway slight was like an assault? When allegiances and enemies were magnified out of all proportion? It is a world where a perceived opponent must be dealt with quickly, without remorse. And that is what Alison De Laurentiis did to Mona Vanderwall. Miss Marcus will be up here shortly, and she's going to tell you an amazing story about Alison De Laurentiis, how she was kidnapped and traumatized by two years of captivity, how she escaped her captors and returned home, helped by her closest friends. It is a remarkable story. It's breathtaking. None of it happened. It's a fairy tale. The Commonwealth will prove with direct testimony of witnesses that Alison De Laurentiis' epic tale of abduction and escape is a lie. It is a lie created by her and perpetuated by the friends that helped to save her. Mona Vanderwall knew the truth. She had the power to destroy the fantasy created by Allison and maintained with her little group of followers. And that is why Allison De Laurentiis planned and carried out the murder of Mona van der Waal, consigning her to a cruel, anonymous end. <laughs> 